me Hattie and I am back with a very special pomegranate makeover. The reason being is because we got a very special stuff pack which came in time for Valentine's Day. So that was the romantic garden stuff pack which I really loved and we got some amazing creator sim items so I thought it was a really good opportunity to go back to the pomegranate family, change some things round. I think for Pilar one of the things that I really wanted to change was her underwear. I thought that when she went to bed her sleepwear was a little bit promiscuous for her as a person. I think that it just didn't really match her as a mum, so I went back and I changed that slightly. I also changed her hair. I was pretty set on the fact that I wanted a shorter hairdo for her. I thought that that would be quite nice just to mix it up a bit, just for a bit of a change of scenery, just to see what Pilar would look like in a bob. And I think that it looks very mumsy and really, really beautiful. So that's what I did there. Also put some lip gloss on her, I thought orange, just because I adore the colour orange and I think with that outfit it looked really nice. Some of her other clothes were very young adult orientated, or at least I thought. So what I did is I changed it to maybe look a little bit more mature, maybe a bit more adult. So that's what I did for Pilar, that was my main focus, just making her look like a really, really elegant person and I wanted her to still look like a mum, so that's what I did. I tried to dress her down a little bit for the other categories, so you'll probably notice that when it comes to the party wear and things, I was trying to make her look a little bit more like a mum, so that was my main focus of this. I was also making sure that her hairstyle didn't change throughout because I don't like when that happens sometimes, when it just skips from being really long to really short depending on what the sims wear. It's just not correct. It's not the way things go unless she wears extensions, of course. But anyway, so this is Scarlet now. I was trying to redo her hair. I really really loved this new hairstyle that we got with the new stuff pack. I think it looks amazing But I think that for Scarlett she'd be very pink focused So Scarlett would be wearing a lot of pink clothing and I just thought with the red bow I kind of thought that the red bow did ruin it a little bit and I would have liked it being pink or white Because I think that would look really girly and feminine But red was just too much for Scarlett I thought anyway So what I did was I put her in this lovely pink matching outfit which isn't actually that dissimilar to something that I would have worn when I was around Scarlett's age because my mum always used to put a lot of effort into what my sister and I wore. So we would have had very, very similar outfits to what Scarlett had there. But I was just going through a formal wear, athletic wear and making sure that everything looked nice and there was nothing there that I didn't want to be there because I know that sometimes for the children, they can be in some crazy outfits with some really, really strange looking socks and things things like that. So I was just making sure that her outfits flowed all the way through and it looked quite nice. I was trying out the face paints, not that I had any intentions of putting them in, I just wanted to see what they looked like and that's what I was doing, I was experimenting a bit. I did actually go back to Scarlett's hair and I changed it to the plaits because I've just seen too many children walking around with the get together hairstyle, I think that's where it's from, yeah it is. So I just thought no, I thought I'd go with some generic plaits for a child which I think came with the Sims 4 outdoors stuff pack no game pack game pack I think <laughs> I always get confused but yeah so I thought that looked a lot better and it did still look like Scarlet which I really liked now for Jane I was really really considering the other hairstyle that we got with the romantic stuff pack I did actually go with that in the end I just thought that I was kind of thinking to myself, do I, don't I? I was really debating it at this point. So I thought more than anything, I would change her outfit just to begin with. And then if I was happy with her outfit and how that turned out, then maybe I would change her hairstyle too. So I didn't actually go with anything too different for her outfit. What I did was I tried out a lot of the new outfits that we got with the stuff pack and then I thought no, I wasn't really feeling it. I thought that a lot of them were very datey, which would be perfect when Jane goes on dates and things. But I thought that for Jane as a character, everyday wear would be very casual and it would be something that would look realistic rather than a really formal dress, which I do actually like to put my Sims in, strangely enough but I just thought that it would be nice just to have her looking quite casual and something similar to what she already wears because she looks like a teen and that's the kind of outfit that I would expect a teenager to wear. So 
that's what I did. I thought about some heavy makeup for Jane because she's still debating whether to be friends with the fakes or the gothic nightmares. She doesn't really know where she fits in yet. So I thought some heavy makeup would look a lot better on her, but what I did is I took some of it off in the end and I just put in some dark eyeshadow, but not too dark because I don't want her to look anything like Blondie. <laughs> Blondie's very gothic, so I thought no for that one. But I really love this dress. I think that will look absolutely fantastic when Jane goes out on a date or to a party or something. It looks really nice. So I was thinking about that. I'll probably put that as one of her day wears at some point, but maybe not just yet. What I was doing is I was going back to her ordinary outfit from the Sims 4 get together and I was thinking, what about the different colors of it? What if I just changed it up a little bit to look a bit different, a little bit girly? And I liked that because it's kind of in between being a fake and a gothic nightmare. It's, I mean, it's more or less bang in the middle. So I thought it was fantastic for her because she's still got the pink, the girliness, but she has got that edgy look as well, which I really, really like for Jane. So I was playing around with the hairstyles here. I was thinking about whether to go for a bob but then I thought no because she's gonna look identical to Pilar and she's gonna look exactly like her mum which of course is nothing wrong with. I always try and style myself on how my mum looks because of course I always look up to my mum but I think for Jane she would be at the stage where she would want long hair and I think that that hair really really suits her so I was really happy with how that looked on Jane and I think that it still looks like Jane but it just looks like a different style of hair. Looks like she's changed the parting slightly which I really like and and I might change it back to the original way at some point, but I'm happy with how it is right now. So now what I was doing is I was going to sleepwear, athletic wear, and also party wears, and just making sure that they all looked nice. Didn't really change a lot about those outfits because I think that what I'll do is I will come back to them at some point and maybe I will do a whole outfit makeover where I will do every single each individual category. I'm just not sure yet, but I thought for a quick video, that is okay. So I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you for the Let's Play. Thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all soon.